So this is a, a quick little overview of my uh, 3D printable torch system that I've come up with. Uh, we're using eight triple eight cells in uh, a, a four barrel configuration here. Uh, so two cells per barrel. Um, we have them linked in series. So if you're not if too familiar with how torches work, when you put things in series, you add the voltage together. When you put things in a parallel circuit, you double the, you add the current, but the voltage remains the same. So these are all standard cells. They're 1.5 volts each, and we add eight of them together. We come up with around about 12 volts. So this can be uh, set up in two configurations. You can make an LED torch configuration by using one of these LED modules, which are available from a J-Card dealer for about $10 or from the link on my Thingiverse site uh, through AliExpress for about $0.80. Cents. They have a built-in regulator which will help step the voltage up as the batteries go flat and they are quite exceptionally bright. Not very good for distance, but they're, they're nice for a flood, which is what I use when I'm under dashboards of cars. The alternative configuration you can use, um, I've added the um, wall clips here, which you can also use on the torch. So I'm trying to do this one-handed and still film. You can clip them on to the torch configuration option as well. So if you ever want to wall mount it or put it in your car. Now for the battery pack configuration, Instead of printing the torch head, you just print two more of these end caps and uh, you print a base cap here as well. Now you want to use quite long screws um, as there's no thread in these, it's just purely a friction based on that center hole. But simply the end result, if I can put this phone down, is we end up assembling both end caps and then we put that together. And you'll end up with a 12 volt battery pack. Now, how you get the power out, you'll notice one end cap is built with a notch inside. That's to allow a uh, thin gauge cable to come out, like some, um, some more figure eight speaker wires, normally what I use. Now, as far as the wiring goes, it's up to how you want to configure it, but normally I would go from top to bottom and top to bottom, and that saves having to cross over the cables. And then uh, at the other end, what you would do is you would run one wire diagonally from either end and you would pick up a positive and a negative off these two and then when you pack your cells in you need to remember that you pack your cells in fairly specifically so you'd pack two in the same way at the top and you'd keep going here and then at the bottom you would pack the positive outwards so you pack your positive out we end up here so you'd end up seeing something like this so when you have your terminals here, you would be going from that to that, and then from that to that. I've tried to design this so that you can use uh, paper clips or you know, twist a bit of wiring or use crimp terminals, a number of different things. I like to solder things, it's a much more reliable option. And I use stainless screws, they're a little bit better on corrosion when your batteries leak. Um, it also means that these are replaceable very easily, especially in the field. And um, I've also allowed a little bit of overlap. If your batteries that you get are from different manufacturers, there's a fair bit of slack in this. There's, there's almost 15 mil of slack. So you can use a number of different batteries. Or if you're the sort that likes a spring-loaded option, you can put a spring in between the cells in the pack, and that will help push that out. But I find with this option, there's no rattle, no movement. As long as it's done up reasonably firmly, the spring from ABS plastic is, is usually enough to keep some tension on the cells. And so far it's it's even been bush. It did 30 Ks in my backpack the other day. And it survived quite well. So I um that's that's pretty much the options, the two options we've got there at the moment. But uh, I hope to come up with some other accessories later on. I'm going to make a shrouded option for this that we can fit some acrylic into. And a, um when the Harley's finished. Another option will be a mouth grip for this and possibly a hook. Uh, and another style of clip I'm going to make is designed to clip off lines so that when I'm in my hammock out bush, I can clip this on the line outside and run in and just run a small, uh, a small section of strip LED inside. And that way I can roll my hammock up and I can roll the batteries up with it. Anyway, I hope this has been a useful video for you. Uh, any more questions, uh, I'll have the Thingiverse link on the bottom of my uh, video on YouTube. And you can click back and find the actual project and download all the files. 
Uh, if you're really, really interested, I can provide some source files if you'd like to make your own modification for this.